What? How do I usually open it? We can't remember. place uk and i am emma welcome this is my weekly weight loss journal week 19 i have been doing this for 19 whole weeks to be perfectly honest with you i didn't expect to get past sort of four or five so yay me well done this is just a very quick check-in and weigh-in this week i haven't really filmed anything nothing really eventful has happened this week i haven't been anywhere i haven't done anything i also had a very poorly boy over the weekend elliot was sick from friday through sunday so i had to look after him him. and then it was also my birthday on Saturday which I spent with a very poorly boy covered in vomit cleaning my sofa and cleaning my carpets. The cinnamon and honey drink that I have been drinking I've been drinking it for about 12 days and I can now reveal that it's absolute rubbish which is kind of what I expected but yeah I haven't really lost any substantial weight whilst drinking it. I don't feel I've lost anything extra on top of what I would have lost it hasn't really boosted my weight loss it hasn't really increased my weight loss exponentially which is kind of what it claims to do I'm gonna knock that one on the head draw a line under it and say that did not work for me if you have been following along with my Instagram you will know that I have been walking a lot this week the Sun is out it's beautiful weather at the moment here in the UK so I am making the most of it and I'm trying to get out of the house at least once a day for about half an hour just to go on a short walk either around where I live or out and about around my work I have been on five walks this week and it is added up to about 6.6 .6 miles so that's quite far for me next week I want to try and beat that's 6.6 .6 miles and see if I can walk a little bit further and get a little bit closer to Mordor because yeah I'm still doing that this is exactly what I did the last time I lost loads of weight this is how I did it I watched my calories and I walked at least four or five times a week so I'm going to try and get back into that it's just I'm walking at different times of the day now I used to walk in an evening after work but I can't do that anymore I've got Elliot to look after so I'm trying to find different ways of fitting it in which means lunch times at work generally I'll get out and uh, go for half an hour and get away from my desk not only have I increased my walking this week I have just checked my my fitness pal app and I've checked the details that I had put into there and I'm close to my target weight so what I've decided to do is I have changed my target weight and I have reduced it down just a little bit just by a few pounds just to, to try and push myself and challenge myself a little bit more and what that has done is that's actually decreased the amount of calories that I am allowed in the day so I have gone from a straight 1700 calories to 1660 calories and I'm not looking forward to how that's gonna feel but the walking has definitely helped in that regard because I'm earning calories back. If I want to eat something nice, I need to go out and earn those calories first before I can spend them eating the cake. Another big thing that I'm seeing at the moment as well is a massive difference in my clothes. I wear dresses a lot for work and the majority of them now are too big. They're not just a little bit big, they're a lot too big. So it's time to get rid of the old and bring in some new. That means shopping. I can't wait. I've just done an order on everything 5 pounds.com So fingers crossed they fit when they arrive. I'm also going shopping with my mum on Saturday. She is going to look for a mother of the bride outfit for the wedding. And I am going to go and spend my birthday money because it's burning a hole in my pocket I can't wait I'm really excited about shopping it's been a very long time since I was excited to go shopping for clothes because to me going shopping for clothes was just torturous and it was just a case of just find something that fits let's just find something that fits I don't care what it looks like I don't care if it's stylish I don't care if it's particularly flattering it just needs to fit and now I'm sort of getting to the point now where I can wear things that I may not necessarily have worn before when I look in the mirror now I don't see somebody who is obese I, I see somebody who has a nice figure again the outfit that I'm wearing today there's absolutely no way I would have worn this a year ago I'm wearing tight jeggings I'm wearing a reasonably tight t-shirt top reasonably tight for me anyway there's just no way that I would have been comfortable wearing something 
that skimmed my figure quite the way that this does and now I'm really really happy I'm really really chuffed with how I look in my clothes and I'm really looking forward to buying some new ones so that's kind of been my week it's been a week of illness but it's also been a week of a bit more self-acceptance for me I'm feeling a lot more confident in myself and in how I look and in how I project myself to people I'll do Anyway, <laughs> my weigh-in for this week. I weighed 15 stone 11.7 pounds, which is 221.7 pounds, which rounds to 100.6 kilos. That means my loss for this week is half a pound. It's not a lot, but slow and steady wins the race. I am slowly chipping, chipping, chipping away at that weight and it's going down. Half a pound a week may not be a massive amount, but it is still going to make a massive difference by the time the wedding rolls around. If I can keep up with half a pound a week, then I'm going to be seven and a half pounds lighter than I am now in time for the wedding, which should do it. That should be enough for me to get this bloody wedding dress on. I'm so close to it fitting. Half a pound average a week will definitely mean that the dress will fit me come the wedding. I need to really step up my game, I really need to increase my efforts, I feel the walking, I've only just started it, that's going to really kick in in a couple of weeks if I can keep it up. And all of that brings me up to a total loss for the year of £15.3. I can definitely see the difference when I look in the mirror, I can definitely see the difference when I look in pictures of me from a year ago when I was two stone heavier than I am now but I'm interested to see if I can tell the difference from January to now so I, I might do that this week I might take a look and see if I can look back at some photographs of me from January when I started this back to now and maybe do a comparison that would be that would be interesting so if you want to make sure that you catch that, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Turn those notifications on to make sure you're notified when I upload. My upload schedule is every Tuesday and every now and then I'll throw one in on a Friday as a little bonus. If you like this video, feel free to give me a little thumbs up. Every little bit helps and leave a comment down below. Let me know how you're getting on, what's happening any sort of other weight loss things that I could try, anything that's a bit faddy that you're not sure, that you're a bit sceptical about, will it work, will it not, as long as it doesn't cost me too much money and it's not like a whole eating plan, I might see if I can give it a go. So let me know down below if there's anything you want me to look into. Thank you so much for watching, I really do appreciate it and I will see you next week. Bye! <laughs>